All right guys, on Staples today, we're gonna to be looking at protein and a lot of its misconceptions. All right, in the fitness industry, we do have this obsession about protein. We tell our well, clients- Protein? Man, you say we have no protein left. We don't have protein left. I'm just doing a video right now. Oh. It's not just for your average meathead to bulk up and gain more muscle, it actually plays a critical role in weight loss and improving your quality of health. Proteins are responsible for nearly every cellular task. So besides repairing the body and building back up tissues, a protein-rich diet does put the body into a dietary-induced thermogenesis. It is the only macronutrient that requires calories to break down. So metabolism is the series of chemical reactions in the body's cells that help turn food into energy. A protein-rich diet upregulates your metabolism, making your body more efficient at using calories rather than storing them. And the third point is going to be satiety. It's the feeling of being full uh, when you're eating. This is crucial when you're trying to lose weight so you don't overeat on your foods. So with protein, you might as well fill your stomach with something that's as useful as protein instead of overeating on carbs and fats that aren't as useful for you. So when looking at choosing your source of protein, looking at leaner cuts of meat, just like uh, chicken, even some fish, eggs, even some cuts of beef aren't the worst to include into your diet. On the vegetable side of things, just a few to maybe throw into your diet, nutritional yeast, flaxseed, as well as beans. So with protein, try to drop the misconceptions about not wanting to get too big or wanting to get jacked. Include it in your diet and focus on it to get all the benefits that we just spoke about. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.